Hey, it's another installment of This Week in Comics Horror. Remember, this is not a set of reviews, just a list of what you'll find when you head to the comic shops This Week in Horror Comics, June 7th, 2023. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below, share this video with all of your social media addicted pals, click subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell for notifications. Let's check out This Week in Comics Horror, June 7th, 2023. This Week in brings Purgatory Must Die number 5. Not that I want to choose favorites, but I really dig Purgatory. I can't say I've read an issue, but I still I really like the look. There's something about a little red demoness with good intentions that appeals to me. Also, if that cover is any indication, she's got a sweet rosy red patoot. This final issue of the series is by the usual suspects of Ray Fox and Alvaro Saraseca, and has Purgatory taking on all sorts of characters across the Dynamite universe. This book is more than just a cheesecake cover, but what a cheesecake cover that is. We're back to the Indies, which is the birthplace of new and interesting horrors. I love the Mexican carnival aspect of Caterina's caravan, the night of La Lecusa. Apparently the carnival is the framework for some kind of anthology series, as this one has Caterina telling a tale about monsters at the border. Not sure what exactly this is, but my interest is piqued. From IDW Publishing, Breath of Shadows comes to a conclusion with issue 5. This has been a trippy little story about a rock band in search of meaning and inspiration, and they try to find it in the middle of a treacherous jungle. Of course, some trippy and arduous things happen. I really like the gritty and psychedelic art by Alex Cormack. I had fun with the first issue of Survival, but I wasn't really able to wrap my head around the concept. But I'm willing to check out the second issue to see if I'll warm up to it. It's a survival tale, of course, set in the Alaskan wilderness, and it involves some kinds of creatures that may or may not exist in the dark forests surrounding the survivors. I haven't read Lamentation, number one yet, but issue two is already on its way from Colin Bunn. Touted as a mix between The Haunting of Hill House and Phantom of the Opera, this one has a mysterious figure stalking an actress in a haunted theater. Sounds fun, and I can't wait to dive in. Gateway horror is all important to bring new readers and viewers into the world of the horror genre. Here's a pair of books that are geared towards younger audiences and those horror fiends who are young at heart. Dynamite seems to be expanding their properties with the acquisition of Disney villains. First up is Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. I remember being terrified by this character as a child and then as an adult when Angelina's plastic bony face appeared in the live-action version. This being Dynamite, it might be just a matter of time before a cheesecakey cover of this evil witch turns up. The second issue is drawn and written by my pal Sue Lee, so I'm interested in this book because of that. In Scooby-Doo Where Are You number 122, Scoob and the gang try to avoid the goat god Pan while Daphne plays the piano at her recital. Scooby-Doo continues to be the go-to gateway horror for all ages, and I love that this series is still going strong. Image Comics does horror right. Here's a half dozen books proving just that. Issue number 9 of I Hate This Place seems to be the next to last issue, or I believe that's what Pentultimate means as our new landowners face down the curse of the Wendigo. Lots of fun imagery and story beats in this series. Ooh, The Walking Dead Deluxe number 64 from Skybound is the cannibal issue. I remember this one being especially horrifying, and while the series got weepy and too introspective from time to time, this one let people know that it still had a lot of bite to it. It's from the usual team of Kirkman and Adlard. In Spawn number 342, Spawn does spawny things in spawny ways. I don't read this title, but many do, so there it is. Looks like In Hell We Fight is about a trio of evil teens and their pet demon going to hell to cause all kinds of reckless mayhem. Sounds like a really fun premise from Choose, John Lehman, and a new artist named Jock, spelled J-O-K. 
not Jacques, who's a totally different artist altogether. I'm looking forward to checking out this new horror series. Issue 5 of Blood Tree brings forth another chapter in this serial killer police procedural. The plot definitely thickened as the modus operandi of the killer is revealed in the last issue, with bodies falling from buildings with angel wings grafted to their backs. The cops have been scrambling to find out who the killer is before the next murder. But now that they know who it is and who the next victim will be, it's a race against time to stop him. Really tense goodness coming from Tomasi and Simic here. And while the pace has slowed down a bit after those first two bombastic issues, I'm still digging the multi-dimensional nightmare road movie from hell known as Phantom Road by Lemire and Valta. Issue number four promises to reveal just what it is the truck is hauling and why it's so important to our road-weary traveler's fates. Finally, here's a book I'm looking forward to the most this week. Yep, my favorite book on the list is about a ratty cat with sideways eyes that just won't die. Hairball is a truly horrifying series from Matt Kint and Tyler Jenkins about a cat that just might be a malevolent entity, which is pretty much an oxymoron sometimes if you're like me and have a cat yourself. Reminiscent of Cat's Eye and other catty horrors that tap into the mysterious nature of our feline friends, so far it's been a truly excellent read. Well, that's 14 comics on the shelves this week in the genre of horror. Surely there's something in there that you'll find worth your time and money. Let me know which ones look good to you down in the comments. Sweet Rosy Red Patoot Stuck inside your reality Your doom Oh, your doom Your Yeah. <laughs>